here is my main battery for the Mighty mount and this is the main battery for the Atlas mount. So I was looking around and on Google trying to find a battery to replace this annoying one here because every time I have to connect this inverter and it's also very very heavy. So when you do YouTube you often get emails from companies asking you to review stuff or asking you to you know, try their stuff out and um, like just last week uh, someone sent me an email from a company asking us to review uh, e-cigarettes. So why would Dahlia and I review you know, e-cigarettes? Uh, it makes no sense, right? So 99% of the time um, you get emails like that and it's completely irrelevant to your channel. But this time I saw Jackery uh, contacting us and I believe they made this uh, battery for camping in the first place but I think it will also work for telescopes. So in this video, I'm going to quickly go over this battery. I'm going to unbox it really fast and then um, you will see it actually works with telescopes and uh, a full rig, so it's really great. Now, the main thing about this battery is it is a lithium battery, so it's extremely, extremely light. And it also has a pure sin uh, AC port here and a pure sin uh, port is great for the mounts. It's much cleaner than a regular uh, port like this one here. And also you will see it has a solar panel, uh, which you can use if you plan on going imaging for a full weekend, for example, so you can recharge the battery. And at the end, I'm going to tell you my pros and my cons about this battery. Oh, okay, it's a trap. Oh, it's so light, it's crazy. Okay, and we have this thing here. Put in this, I'm guessing the charger. So a few cables here. This is for, I'm guessing, charging the battery. And this is an adapter for the cigarette lighter ports, which is nice to include. Alright guys, so here we have a battery, which is our new battery. It is a Jackery, I believe it's called the Explorer 500, and this will power up our equipment all night, so it's really nice. Um, so what we're going to do is we're going to plug in the, uh, the power on the AC port here. And the battery also has several different ports. There is a cigarette port here and three USB ports and as well as an input port. Now, the input port is for uh, charging the battery, so either through the wall, or you can even use this beautiful, magnificent thing here, which is a solar panel, uh, to charge the battery. The good thing also is it comes with a light here, so if you click on the uh, LED button, you can actually uh, turn on the light here, which is nice when you want to pack up really quick at night. And uh, yeah. So this is our solar panel. We can um, put it out like this. It's pretty great. Um, there is a cable that is in the back of here that attaches to the battery actually, and it can charge our battery in about five hours. So anytime we feel like we kind of you know want to stay out in the field, sleep in our car, um, and we use up the battery throughout the night, if we're going to stay for another day, we can always set this up in the morning, have it charge the battery, and then use it again. So what do I like the most about this battery and what do I dislike? So the number one thing that I love about this battery is 
how light it is. This is insane compared to the uh, dip cycle batteries you usually use. Another thing I like is the number of ports here. You can plug in pretty much anything you can think of, uh, your phone, your, your iPad, your laptop, your mount, anything you want so easily. Um, so it's, it's really nice to have. Now you also have a light here, which is really useful at night if you're packing up. I also love the fact that the AC here is pure sin. So from what I learned, uh, pure sin is uh, a much cleaner current than a uh, regular uh, AC. So for the mounts, for example, it's much better. And if you don't have a pure sin, from what I learned, uh, some people experience like spikes in guiding just because their battery is bad. So uh, with a pure sin, it's just clean current straight away. And lastly, I love how uh, you can buy the um, uh, solar panel. So if you go camping or you know imaging for three days in a row, you can easily charge your battery all day. So what do I not like about this battery? So um, when trying it out with the Mighty Mount, it actually did not work well uh, because the Mighty Mount does not have any AC way to plug it in. So I have no choice but to use the AC here. And um, with the AC uh, port on, and the Mighty Mount plugged in, it will stop after about like an hour or two, which is really weird and random. So I, I believe the issue is because the Explorer 500 is not strong enough for the Mighty Mount. Uh, I'm probably, I think if you bought the, uh, the Explorer 1000, uh, it would work fine, I'm guessing. But also if you have a mount that uses DC and not AC, uh, that's no problem for sure because AC is much more hungry than DC. For example, the Atlas mount, I can use it because it's DC and the Atlas mount, no problem all night long. And then, uh, yeah, so it's not a big deal because I actually wanted this battery for my Mighty mount. Actually, I can't, uh, but it's no big deal because I'm actually using it for the laptop instead and my phone. So the laptop is really hungry too in terms of the Skylax with the Mighty mount. And so I'm using this one for the laptop uh, unless I'm using it for the Atlas mount. So it's either Atlas mount or uh, my tea but laptop only and um, yeah so uh, overall I'm really happy and um, I'm just it's just a, a game changer of how light it is it's just insane so I'll see you guys next time uh, I'll have a link below if you want to check it out they have a bunch of different sizes and prices it also has a, a bunch of different solar panels and stuff and uh, yeah so I'll see you guys next time and kiss guys kiss guys